question for you. So it seemed that there was at least something about Lutheran theology that both White and Wilson found a bit, they, they used the word, made them nervous or skittish, mm-hmm. that, 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 right. that troubled them. Um, and, and perhaps what is it about Lutheran theology that makes the Reformed nervous? Yeah, that's a really good question. And that's kind of the core of this whole discussion, right? Just what, what is it? Why are they like, oh, the Lutherans, you know? Uh, this and it this happens all the time. Look at someone like uh, Mark Jones, who, you know, Lutherans are just about the worst possible thing you could be. And, and as Reformed people, we want to be as far away from those Lutherans as possible. Uh, what Mark Jones had a sermon called, We're Not Lutherans or something. I think you sent me this a couple of years ago. Um, I didn't listen to it, but... Uh, for those who are listening, Mark Jones, isn't Mark Jones the guy who literally says, um, he denies that little f- phrase in the formula that work, good works are necessary for salvation? We, we deny that, and he, and he affirms the phrase, uh, and, and he got into a kerfuffle over that? Yeah, this, I mean, this was a while ago, um, and, and I think his fear is kind of different from others. So it depends on the person, I think. And this, and this really goes back to the Reformation itself. I mean, the debates that exist then of between the Lutherans and the Reformed. I mean, they are very much opposed to each other in some pretty fundamental ways. So that's nothing new. Um, for someone like James White, I think it's different maybe for some, from someone like, like Wilson. I think, and I've seen Wilson, and I haven't paid as much attention to him in recent years, but, um, you know, I, I'm, I don't know, with, with the kind of no quarter November thing that he's been doing and calling vestments gay and just weird things that I... I kind of shut off a lot of that because <laughs> I just don't find it useful or or engaging. But but at least it it seems from the, from what I've seen that he's um, kind of differentiated himself more so from people like Lightheart in those. And I think it is the issue that you brought up of sacramental efficacy. And I think it's this um, fear of the loss of personal regeneration or personal regeneration being tied so strongly to the sacraments. I mean, he is also a very strong double predestinarian. Uh, so that is you know negated by by a strong sacra- sacramentology so there there's that and then on white's part um i think it's it's clear you know white has refused to you know engage with lutherans and, and you know that, that that's fine that's not an issue he wants to, to delve into um but it, it for him i think he's a baptist so baptists just by nature have a low sacramentology and i think it's the same issue of sacramentalism is something that is to be feared and some of it is the grant a anti-roman catholic bias especially right. for someone like james white who does debates with with rome i mean that's kind of how he one of the ways that he kind of became well known so anything that looks roman there's this automatic fear i don't see that as much in wilson but i think you do have that in people like james white uh and you saw that in mark jones too um with some of the comments that that he made about certain things so yeah. and, and white what white mentions this he said you know in the video he he talks about how um in debating with uh, roman uh, Catholic apologists and such, they use faith working through love, and he, it, to use this phrase, as a bus to drive in the whole sacramental system. Right. Um, and and uh, so, you know, if Reformed people are watching this, let's be clear, uh, we do not, be- and our confessions are clear, we do not believe the sacraments work ex opere operato, simply, right. simply by the administration of them. Um, uh, that's never been our view. Uh, you um, and Luther makes this clear in the Small Catechism, right? H- um, how can water do such great things? It is certainly not the water, but it is the Word of God in and with the water and faith, which believes this Word of God. Um, so um, it's always been part of the Lutheran idea that it's not simply the administration of water. That, that does it. It, it. There's more to it than that. You have to be rightly disposed, and that right disposition does come from the work of God, the Holy Spirit. It, we're absolutely clear on that. But, yeah. 